Hey there, everyone. So, oh, hey, the bells are going off. <laughs> um, so the other day, I was web surfing and just checking out stuff online, and I had stumbled across this really cool website, and I clicked on it, and it was just one of the most beautiful things I had ever seen. Um, to give you a little, tell you here what I, here's what I saw. Okay, so in 2010, there was a guy by the name of Brandon who decided to photograph the citizens of New York. And he put together this visual profile of different cultural, ethnic, social diversities within the city. And now he took pictures of adults and kids and single people, groups of people, different races, ethnicities, religions, sexualities, locations. I mean, you name it, he had it. And when he put this all together, I mean, it was just one of the most breathtaking things I'd ever seen. It was just, it was unbelievable how how beautiful the diversity was. And the cool thing about this project is that it's still going on today. So if this is a two-year project. He's had over 50,000 portraits taken, and he's still doing it. So, And I think there's something to be said there about that. Um, we necessarily don't stop and take the time to look around and see the different the diversity that is around us, even in a place like Concordia. I mean, maybe it's not, I guess, as widely open as maybe New York City is because of, I mean, obviously there's more people in New York City. But I think sometimes we don't stop to appreciate the other people around us and to really observe how beautifully mixed our campus is. And so with October coming up, uh, being National Diversity Awareness Month, um, I'm going to celebrate diversity by doing a mini version of the Humans of New York project right here on campus. So during the month, I will be taking pictures of students and faculty, staff, visitors, pretty much anyone who happens to cross my camera lens or anyone who considers themselves a part of the Concordia community. And um, my goal with this project is to show, to show you the beauty of Concordia. And I'm not just talking about the aesthetics or how pretty the trees are in, in the fall or the Fargo-Moorhead area. Um, I want to show you the beauty of the humans at Concordia College. And so hopefully you can stay tuned for the rest of the month. My whole blog will be dedicated to that. And I encourage you to check it out, see if your picture makes it online or someone you know makes it up. And again, happy National Diversity Month. So till next time.